the valve cover gasket's leaking. Let's get that replaced. I'm not a fan of these type of valve cover bolts. I can see the purpose of them, you know, making it easy to just take these out if you want to get into this valve cover, but I'm never really going to get in here. And also these are starting to get scratched up, the anodizing is coming off. Uh, they don't look as nice as they used to when they were new. I'm just going to replace them with some regular valve cover bolts. It may be difficult to see, but there's a bunch of oil on the spark plug wires here, so you can tell that, that the oil's been leaking out of this valve cover gasket, and it's also getting up here uh, on the intake manifold and staining it and kind of creating a, a uh, you can see how there's a, there's a line here where it's been soaking in the oil in the aluminum, so hopefully we'll get this cleaned up and uh, won't be leaking anymore. So here you can see the oil leaking on the edge of the valve cover. So we're gonna get this cleaned up and polished up, make it look nice and put it back on the car with a new gasket. So we can see this one was a little worse off. Um, I'm guessing it was replaced at a different time. Looks almost like a different type of gasket. Definitely a different type of RTV that they used to seal this up. And it's just all dried up and everything's just leaking past it. And this one was actually worse than the other one. So let's get this one cleaned up too. So now that the valve covers have been cleaned out, I uh, got all that ground out of there, all that silicone ground out of there. Um, 
Now we can go ahead and put the gasket in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this RTV gasket maker just to put a couple dabs in here to hold the gasket in place. Uh, these gaskets have these tabs that are designed to fit inside these little cutouts, um, you know, here in the in the valve cover, but they don't they don't grab very well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a little bit of silicone on there just to kind of hold this in place because when we flip it over and put it in the engine, I don't want this thing falling out on us. put this one in the car. Now that we got the one valve covered on, let's get the other one on. And this one, just like the last one, we're going to stick this on here and put some of this black RTV on there to uh, hold it in place. This stuff really sticky. It makes a big mess. You get it on your fingers and then it gets everywhere. And then everything you touch has silicone on it. All right, let's go put it in the car. Now that we got the valve cover snugged down, we're going to put this grommet back in here so we can put the PCB valve back in the valve cover. Okay. So we can move this back down in place. Coil back in place. And the last piece of this puzzle is the breather valve. All right. I think it looks a lot better without those T-handles in there. Cleans it up a little bit. And uh, I think we look good. I thought this carbon fiber piece looked good on the dash to cover the hole for the radio but I'm finding that it, it doesn't really fit the car and from a distance I can tell that this line's not straight and it's starting to bother me so I think I'm gonna put on the, the factory radio delete piece which looks like this um, I think that's gonna be a much better fit plus it's got a contour shape to fit the shape of the dash so I'm gonna take this off and put this piece in So on the back side of this, there's just two studs that fit into the old radio knob holes, so... If I can do this without ruining the dash. There we go. I think that looks... You know what? That's the end. I don't even have to put these nuts on the back. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and one more bonus item. Uh, this armrest that I ordered from CJ Pony Parts. Um, when you're driving in today's vehicles, you get spoiled with having something like this. So when you're driving a classic car and you don't have this thing to rest on and place to store stuff, upholder, um, it's nice to have. Uh, so this is definitely an addition that uh, I had to have one of these. So that's going to do it for today's video. We got the valve cover gaskets replaced, as well as the radio delete piece put on the dash. It's a lot better than that carbon fiber piece. 
and then the uh, armrest edition. Uh, so thanks for uh, sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. Can you see me? See? Don't touch that. Sticky. It gets everywhere. Good grief. So I thought. I thought this camera was tilting over. <laughs> oh, darn it. Did ruin the dash a little bit. <gasps> okay. Can you see me? Uh, we got the valve cover gaskets replaced, and uh, what else did we do? So that's going to do it for today's video. We got 